It's Whitney, your family practice PA, and I am so excited about today's video. We are going to be talking about the drug that is changing the cholesterol world, um, what I'm seeing with my patients, what I'm hearing from other providers, and all of the incredible results this medication has just change the outlook for heart disease, the risk for heart attack and stroke with high cholesterol, for patients that have not been able to tolerate statins or they have not gotten the response that we would want from statins. And this new class of medication is your called Repatha. So today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down that medication, what you can expect from it, um, some of the numbers, talk about how it works, how it's different than statins. You know, statins is our, our our Lipitors, our Crestors, um, which are um, Atorvastatin, Resuvastatin, our Simvastatin, our Pravastatin, all these meds that we've had for years. And I cannot wait to tell you about this new drug and further break it down for you. So without further ado, let's break it down. Okay, so let's get into talking more in depth about Repatha. So Repatha is a, as I've said before in the intro, is a PCSK9 inhibitor, which is a new class of cholesterol lowering medications. So we've usually been used to statins, and now we have the creation of these PCSK9 inhibitors, which has been an absolute game changer in the cholesterol world. So Repatha is... Um, works differently than statins. So statins, what their idea, so that's our Crestor, which is Resuvastatin, our Lipitor, which is a Torvastatin. We have our Simvastatins, our Pravastatins, all of these different medications. And they've been a great drug because that's pretty much what all we've had for higher cholesterol medications for a while with some exceptions here and there. But they do have a pretty large side effect profile that we have to watch for. Patients don't love taking them. They don't tolerate them as well sometimes. I have patients that do great on it. So it's not to say that as a whole class, we don't want to be using statins. Statins still have a very important role, but these PCSK9 inhibitors have been a game changer. So what statins do is it in simple terms, just helps helps the liver from producing more cholesterol that puts it out into the bloodstream. But <clears throat> what the Repatha does is a completely different setup, and actually is more on a cellular level. So I'm gonna so the PSK9. So I'm gonna switch over into a different view now, and this. Situ this um, diagram from Straight Healthcare is one of the best ones that I've seen. So what a PCSK9 does is it's an enzyme that is produced and it is actually has a negative effect. So in a hepatocyte, so this is the liver cell, you have LDL receptors. And those LDL receptors, their main job is for the cholesterol to be taken um, out and degraded. So this even talks, so LDL is receptors is removed from the blood and the levels are decreased. So that is what the LDL receptor does on the hepatocyte. What the PCSK9 is doing is it is actually attaching and binds to these LDL receptors and actually degrades the receptors so that there's more LDL released into the bloodstream. And remember, we do not want LDL released into the bloodstream because what that actually does is it builds up in those arteries and hardens them. And that's where we can get high risk of cardiovascular disease, high risk of stroke. Part of those can break, part of that plaque or that hardening can break off. So we do not want LDL high in the blood. So with this PCSK9, with it breaking down those LDL receptors, that is not what we want. So what's been developed is there's a whole class of meds, and like I said, there's about three. Lecvico is an incredible new one coming up. I'll probably do a video on that one as well. And we have Perluent, but I'm gonna focus on Repatha right now. And so what they are is they are actually the PCSK9 inhibitors. 
So what happens is, is you have the PSK9 and the Repatha drug comes and actually breaks down that and will not let it get to the LDL receptor. So we're able to build up our LDL receptor numbers. So they are, so they're, the drug is the antibodies. They bind to this PKS, um, uh, PCK, PCSK9, and they inactivate that enzyme. And so the LDL receptors are not degraded. And what happens is, is those LDL within that hepatocyte, which is a liver cell, they can bind more to this LDL and it's removed from the blood and it decreases the levels in the blood so that we're not getting into those arteries. So it's able to almost absorb that LDL and then we're able to excrete it. So the hepatocyte, the liver cell is able to take it and absorb it and break it down from those LDL receptors. So that is what has been the biggest game changer with this drug. So instead of the statins coming in and just helping the liver not produces much cholesterol and keeps it from and reduce it, which only has a so, so much of a limit it can do, we have these incredible inhibitors that come and let you actually absorb more of the LDL and let those LDL receptors be able to do their job and not break it down. So that is the PCSK9 inhibiting drugs in a nutshell. And like I said, we're focusing really on Repatha right now. So I'm going to switch back over to the slide. Um, show. So we've looking at those, we these are the results. And, and these numbers are mind-blowing, and I've seen it in practice as well with my patients. 90% of people on Repatha have lowered their LDL below 70. And if you remember me talking in my previous videos, our goal for general population is for the LDL to be under 100. So this is below 70, which is where our high risk cardiovascular patients, their goal is. And so 90% of people are able to meet that goal. And that 63% of people lowered their LDL, sorry, um, LDL was lowered by an average of 63% in just three months of the drug. So this has been, for cardiologists, for, uh, for myself in primary care, it has been incredible with these people that either can't tolerate statins or have reached a plateau and only getting so much benefit from statins for this new class of medication to come out. So... Just so you know, so Repatha is an injection every two weeks. And so with that, it comes like a pen um, injector with an auto inject. There's multiple forms, but this is the most common one I see with my patients. And it's just like if you have um, with diabetes or different drugs that you have a pen, you twist it to the right amount and you give yourself that subcutaneously, usually in the stomach every two weeks. So it's very easy. You can self-inject. It's sub-Q, so very small needle, not painful at all. Um, and the whole goal of this is to reduce that risk of heart attack and stroke. So I really have just, it's just been incredible. I really cannot overemphasize the results that I have seen in my patients. Um, please don't hesitate to go talk to your own medical providers about this drug, especially if you have high cholesterol or know somebody that does. It can change your life for sure. So there's always risk and benefits. So always talk to your own medical provider, but it's been incredible. Okay, so I hope you got a lot out of that video, better understanding how Repatha works, how this new class of medications is a, such a game changer. Um, if you got anything out of today's video, please hit that like button. I'm going to have more and more content coming out, breaking down everything that's new in medicine or old and you don't understand. So make sure if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I'm always checking those, answering those, and then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on this journey of everyday medicine with Whitney. Um, and if you have, like I said, just looking forward to having more and more content coming out and I'll see you on the next video.